This is the Turf Zone Podcast, your central information and news hub, bringing together professionals from turf associations across multiple states to share things to help you in your business. Brought to you in partnership with our friends at the Turf Grass Council of North Carolina. This episode is sponsored in part by By Sod, world class service on demand. Visit us online at www.bysod.com. Now, let's get in the zone. Welcome to the Turf Zone. In this episode, we feature an article titled Leveraging Untapped Talent Pools. Hiring workers continues to get harder and harder. The latest jobs report shows that rather than interest rate hikes slowing the economy as anticipated, jobs continue to be added at a furious pace. Unemployment remains historically low at 5.7 million people unemployed, and there are more than 10.5 million jobs in the United States that remain unfilled. As a result, competition for workers is fierce, driving millions of people to quit their jobs each month in search of greener pastures and more money. Many organizations are simply giving up by cutting back sales to accommodate a shrinking workforce. The problem with this strategy is that when the next economic recession affects their market, which may be very soon, they may not be able to survive. The larger a quality customer base, the better the ability to withstand economic hardship. So how can a team recruit new people to join to capitalize on the current market when the war for talent is so fierce? The same way that we win customers by specializing in a niche market. Rather than compete for every customer available to be serviced, companies increase profit by only working with those who meet specific criteria. So competition is lessened. But when it comes to hiring, there is little thought given to the various talent pools from which we can recruit. One example of an untapped talent pool is recruiting employees who were formerly incarcerated. The Prison Policy Institute recently reported that more than 60% of people released from prison are currently jobless. If a company could specifically target this group to recruit and retain, they would have a tremendous and reliable source of labor. Of course, managers must make some considerable adjustments to properly engage and retain these workers. Job training programs may have to be revamped and expanded to include both more hard skills and soft skills. Company hiring policies could have to be adjusted to screen applicants less harshly based on experience or background checks. Perhaps transportation must be provided to and from job sites. Yet, we have this incredible gift in the green industry where these accommodations can be made. Our customers rarely, if ever, interact with our frontline employees, so appearance and professionalism are not issues. Working outside means that there is usually no sensitive or secure facility requirements for which a clean background check would be required. And we can leverage this fact to help individuals who desperately need a second chance in life to thrive while allowing our companies to grow. Whether the untapped talent pool that makes sense is those who are uneducated, unexperienced, long-term unemployed, retirees, formerly incarcerated, formerly addicts, immigrants, disabled, or veterans, there is certainly a niche market of employees who could be tapped to solve the labor crisis for any company. In fact, it may be the only sustainable recruitment strategy that is left. By Neil Glatt, Managing Partner, Grow the Bench. For all resources associated with this article, check out our show notes. Don't miss an episode. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at theturfzone.com. You've been listening to The Turf Zone. Thank you to our sponsors, including By Sod, world-class service on demand, Visit us online at www.bysod.com. For more episodes of the Turf Zone, visit theturfzone.com and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app.